that time of year. Getting my mom's car smog right now. Uh, today I wanna clean up the interior, get it ready for paint. We're gonna go to Ace Hardware. I wanna get a tap and die kit so I can clean up some of the threads from my seat bolts and then uh, paint the interior. Basically so I can throw the interior back together because I don't wanna look at all that nasty shit that's underneath on the original floorboard. I don't think it's ever been painted on the inside but I want to do the back seat area and then the floors of the front seat. Paint it up. I'm not going to do the dash bar. Just the floor is my main focus. So I'm going to go get some tape, tap and die kit, extra bolts for um, the seat bolts, the seat mounts. I have a whole fucking list, but yeah, we're getting my mom's car smog right now. Up at Smog Busters. We got $5 off. All right, so we got the shit to paint the interior today so i got some acetone clean up oh, i got some tarp to cover up the top uh that's the only thing that i don't want painted i want to paint the metal around it not the top itself so i bought some tarp covered up bought some tape tape it up acetone to clean the metal on the inside about three cans of white hopefully that's enough one can of black to uh spray my bracket in the trunk and then i also bought a tap so i can uh re-tap my seat bolt mounts Everything back here, I'm gonna clean it up, tie up my wires, and then uh, tape off the tarp, or tape off the top, and get it ready for paint. I'm gonna tape the windows up so I don't get overspray on them. And uh, I'm not really too focused about anything past this panel. Everything on the inside will be white. Everything back here, I'm not gonna touch. see it on camera but currently we got the back seat with uh the base coat uh still need to hit the driver's side a little bit more but it's coming out decent white is a very easy color to paint because if it's not white enough you just keep hitting it yeah it doesn't look too too white on camera but Trust me, it's white. So I'm just, uh, this took two spray pan cans too. And I'm um, still not done. This, I hit that side first, laid a soft coat, and then started hitting this side. And then I went over that side, then I went over this side, and then whatever. I taped the harnesses up. I want that red battery cable to uh, really pop against the white. So I covered it up with this uh, wiring loom. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do the floor pan right here. I would love to do this side of the floor pan today. But if anything, I'm just going to focus on the back because that's the most painful part to do right now. I'm not too worried about the roll bar. I'll go and touch that up. All the zip tie marks that are still left. But yeah, currently we are uh, just letting this dry so I can see all the uh, imperfections or whatever. It's not a fucking million dollar paint job it's literally eight dollars a can and i bought three cans of white so if i can get the back seats done today i'll be hyped and then the front should take me about if that was two cans probably take me two cans we will see but i'll uh, unmount the e-brake and all the other shit all i want to do is really cover up the uh the top just so i didn't get paint on it and just i want white interior so uh, i don't know if i'm gonna do the doors I think it only makes sense to do the doors, but I gotta roll the windows up and cover everything, so I don't know. Might skip that part. I just want white floors. Because once the dash is in, all you're really gonna see is the floors. The doors don't matter, because I'll probably do ABS plastic, make my own door cards anyway in the future, but this is where we are right now. The next day. All right, it's been a couple days. Started painting this. I don't know if I put this in the fucking video, but headlights are wired in extended so i already took it off the list oh and i took another piece off the list which i filmed on instagram i'll insert that clip here and uh yeah we took the battery tray out of where are you see you okay yeah. <laughs> took the battery tray out 
of its original location. So now I can clean this metal up and uh, paint it white because that's like coolant overflow just on top of the metal. And there's like, it's pretty clap, but. Battery tray is no longer here. So I ran the wires through the fender well, through the side, through this little hole. So I have maximum tire clearance on both sides and that'll be underneath the fender. I like this side a little bit better because it's, it's tucked up. Can't really see much when you're looking in here until you get all the way around, but yeah, same shit. Just taped it up on this side. I had a slit right here, and so I taped it up so it would be all good. And now. Yeah, that's weird. They look, they look good. They look kind of even too, yeah, which is surprised. Surprised me. So yeah, no fires. Checked for fires. Checked for bullshit but headlights are extended so the list keeps going on but i think i want to uh i don't know what the fuck i want to do next that is the complete wire tuck finally fucking complete because now this car can run and drive i have headlights and uh yeah i just been picking away at the engine bay doing small shit All right, a lot has happened since the last time I filmed, but I took the front end off. I sprayed the radiator support and the inside of the engine bay where I took the battery tray out. I wanted it all white. It was fuck with me not having it all white. I sprayed the fender, whatever fucks, whatever they're called. I sprayed them white too, just so when you look and see through the, the bumper and when I pop the hood, you'll see nothing but white. So I ended up finishing that and then went to ace hardware got me a sheet of metal and right now i'm finishing up the bracket to put my remote terminal to so i'm gonna oh shit you can't see shit i got this piece of metal and uh yeah this is gonna be my new mount for my remote terminal and uh that's how my harness is gonna get power and then when the dash is on you won't see it too much but it's there definitely it's there so then after this is mounted up and out of the way that wire is finalized and then i could finally spray the floorboards so just been chipping away i extended the headlights everything this should be the last piece of the wire tuck the harness fuse box tuck and then we're done so just uh about to finish this up all right we are mounted up we have our remote battery terminal not touching anything which was my concern because that's going to be a hot wire but yeah so we painted the engine bay at least touched up the radiator support i fucking love how it looks uh painted the core support and uh yeah that was a process in its entirety but i'm gonna let this dry overnight i probably won't clear it probably just run it as is I have my igniter chip module, whatever the fuck, temporarily right here. I want to put it down here on the radiator support, but I need to make a heat shield. Um, so let's see. We extended our headlights successfully. Oh, this tape has been a fucking piece of work. And yeah, so now I think we can finally move on to painting the floors. That'll be in another video. Um, I can't start the car right now, but I'll put a, I'll put a clip in of when I started it up and how it sounded. Did I need to do some modifications to the battery tray? That'll be another video, but we are successfully powered in the front. So yeah, that's been the engine bay painting battery relocation, wiring, fuse tuck, harness, all of the above in this one video. So uh, yeah, there's a lot more to come, but I appreciate y'all if y'all made it to this part of the video. I fuck with y'all. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, follow me on Instagram at that L Kid J, and I'll see y'all in the fucking future. The white back seat looks crazy.